When did you first hear about the name Fraser Crane? When did that name first come across your uh, I was doing desk? a play in uh, New York City, a musical called Sunday in the Park with George by uh, Stephen Sondheim. And I was also covering a, another play called Hurley Burley. Uh, and so I was an understudy there, and I was, I was doing the rehearsal for the other show at the same time. And I went to lunch with a girl named Gretchen Rennell, who was casting director for Paramount Pictures. Mm -hmm. And she said, Mandy Patinkin told me that you're a funny leading man type. <laughs> I said, yeah, I guess he's right about that. <laughs> and uh, that's what got me this audition to come in and do what they call a personality piece, basically. You'd go on video mm -hmm. and uh, talk about, you know, 10 things that you liked or whatever. They did this with me for this character called Fraser Nye at the time. And I don't know if you remember Louis Nye. Of course. But I, I thought Fraser Nye was probably the wrong name. So they ended up making him Crane after that. But uh, So you said Nye doesn't sound right? Nye Let's, doesn't sound right. And they came up with Crane? Something else. Yeah, but, but they came up with Crane. Oh, okay. But uh, so I went on camera and I, I wore these yellow Christian Dior golf pants that my mother had bought me. <laughs> And uh, because for some reason I thought he might wear something like that, <laughs> a black blazer and a white shirt. And uh, they said, when they saw the tape, they said, that guy's pretty funny. So uh, a few weeks later, I was hired to do Cheers. That's our Frasier. Yeah. They basically said that. At what point did you realize I am part of something that is historic? Well, you know what, honestly, I realized it when we were doing Cheers that there was something great there. Um, What's funny is, you know, Shelley Long decided she was going to leave the show in the fifth season. Uh, so once that was done, I thought to myself, wow, that's really weird. This show is really popular, really successful, and they've brought this new girl in, Kirstie Alley. And I thought, this has the potential to be one of the greatest shows ever now because midstream, it's, you can't tell where it's going. Mm -hmm. So we could go forever. Of course, they did 11 seasons. And uh, it turned into this fantastic, fantastic show. And it was a good show before that. I'm not questioning that it's just uh it was that i think that sort of creative jolt that it got that made it another show a new show so put it, sort of put it on steroids mm -hmm. and it was great and you know obviously the sports angle of it too there was always an well, interesting yeah, cross well, it's just a cross, and all that. well yeah. it was an interesting cross of, of pop culture yeah. in that respect that there was yeah. a red Sox uh sort the of birth of the concept was all based upon the three guys the jimmy burroughs and the two charles brothers sitting in that bar in boston saying this this town we want to do a the show about this town and its love of sport. It's always that's that was always about part it. It was of the fabric. About that, yeah. And the, the cameos of people that would come oh, in. Huge, yeah, yeah. Is anyone when that Wade particular... Boggs came in? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> lovely guy. He was, he was a great guy. And then he, then he got traded to the Yankees. I think uh, that was, <laughs> that was yeah. a devastating blow. I know, but uh, sure, he was a lovely guy. And I uh, mean, Tip O'Neill. That's right. Was on the show. Uh, General Schwarzkopf was on the show. Oh no no no, Admiral Crow. Admiral, Admiral Crow when he was uh, chairman of the Joint Chiefs. Kevin so. McHale, I think. Yeah, came Kevin McHale came in and and, and uh, Woody got to do like a, a basketball play with him. <laughs> it's fun. It was really it was really very exciting. Lots of about fun. That, yeah. And then uh, Kelsey Grammer here on the Rich Eisen show. Then Frazier, yeah, comes into being. Were you concerned at the time? Like, hey, that that was a great character. We did it on Cheers. But yeah. What, no, actually, what I, now? I wanted to kill Frazier. I thought it's it's time for him to end. Cheers is over, let's do something else. Because mm -hmm. I had a deal with Paramount. They said, we're going to do another show when Cheers is over with you. Right. And said, cool. So I, I approached the guys from Wings, and uh, that was Angel Casey and Lee. Mm -hmm. David Angel, you know, died on 9-1-1, 9-11. And uh, we uh, talked about doing a show about a guy on a motorcycle, because I used to ride a motorcycle. And they thought, you know, let's take something from real life who's bedridden because he's had a terrible accident. That was not part of real life. Okay, that's um, good. But um, the president of Paramount, John Pike at the time, said, this is not funny. He <laughs> said, you know what, I think a sitcom should be funny, so what do you say we do, Frazier? And I said, well, okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I, I did say at the time, said, uh, no kids, no dogs. Well, that, that and, didn't last. No wives. Right. So uh, we got rid of Lilith. Not, not because it wasn't possible to do that show, but it didn't seem to me to have the legs that you'd need to get further along. Because mm -hmm. I thought we were kind of a one-joke couple. And, you know, B.B. came back and did a couple of shows for us. But that was the right stuff. 
the dog I lost on, the kid I lost on, it's okay. <laughs> but we didn't do a lot of shows with that. Well, but uh, it's so interesting you said that the original name was Fraser Nye. Is that where Niles came from? No. That's completely no. mutually yeah. exclusive. Uh, okay. Casting director walked in with a picture of David Hyde Pierce and said, if you're thinking of putting a brother in the show, mm -hmm. this is the guy. And it was looking at like, you know. And then the dad, John Mahoney. John Mahoney had done a, a, an appearance on one of the final episodes of Cheers. He was so funny in it, and I so so enjoyed spending time with him mm -hmm. uh, during that uh, period that when we finished the pilot script, I called him and said, uh, would you have a look at this? I want you to play my dad. And uh, he called a day later and said, I'm in. It's fantastic. And, yeah. you know, he played, um, he, he was in one of the one of the better sports movies of all time, Eight Men Out. He played the, yeah, right, the right, manager man, yeah. of the Black so, Sox, uh, yeah. and he was terrific in that. I mean, Where are just, they now? He was just terrific in, yeah, I know. He was terrific in everything that yeah, he did. Yeah, he's a you know. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.